Walsenburg, it's not a matter of if, but when. Flash flooding will impact the city in the aftermath of last summer's spring fire. That's why they're preparing now to save as many lives and homes as possible. We could lose our homes. We don't know. Ominous clouds over the spring fire burn scar bring snow this time. But eventually, they'll bring rain and flash flooding. Lobita's got a higher risk. They only have maybe 30, 40 minutes of advance notice before a flood hits, where Walsenburg could have um, four or five hours. Colored markings on downtown streetlights show possible water depths from a one-year, 10-year, and 100-year flood event, each inch meaning more devastation for Walsenburg's historic homes and businesses. There's a pretty good chance that we're going to have a 100-year storm within the next six years. That's why local leaders are hosting preparedness meetings like this one, as well as clearing Kacharis Creek and teaching folks how to do sandbagging the right way. If you fill them properly, they'll perform their task well. If you don't, then you're kind of wasting your time. I'm not scared. I'm ready here to prepare. That's what I'm here for. Debbie Hernandez's home is in the likely flood path, along with more than 600 more homes throughout Walsenburg. A new warning siren on City Hall will let people know when a flood is on the way. It'll blare next Saturday morning to let people know what it sounds like. That'll be the last test. There won't be any more tests. It'll be, if you hear the siren, get out. The best defense against the flash flood is preparation. If everything would be a disaster and it would all get ruined, well, we at least have our lights to start over somewhere else. Walsenburg's new flash flood warning siren will blare at 10 a.m. this coming Saturday, April 13th. For a link to a website specifically for Werfano County residents likely to be affected by flash flooding, head to KOAA.com.